Mark, welcome to my 2015 Tab Max S trailer, uh, aka Tic Tac. In an effort to make my video channel as comprehensive as possible, I am documenting all of my repairs, um, all of my upgrades, everything that I do to this trailer, I'm trying to document that. Um, that's good for me when I want to sell this trailer later on. And it's good for you so you can learn um, how to fix the different things that may be happening to your trailer. Sometimes the things that I need to repair are big things. Sometimes they're little things. This is a little thing. What we're looking at here is the shower. And this is um, the shower door. Um, New Camp has changed their shower door. It used to be a typical... Uh, um, glass shower door like in your home. Um, the new ones are just a solid core door. I can I like these type because I don't have to mess with a shower curtain a whole shot. Um, but I understand that New Camp was having supply issues and quality issues and stuff. And that's why they went to the new door. But if you have an old door like this, you're going to notice something. It's held closed by a magnetic strip. There's a magnetic strip here. And there's a matching magnetic strip on the other side. Now, how many of you have seen this magnetic strip come loose and fall down and possibly break in the bottom of your trailer? Um, that's really common. And here's what's going on. This magnetic strip, we'll back up a little bit here. Everything, everything in a trailer flexes. It all flexes. You wouldn't think it would, but it all flexes. When you're going down the road and the trailer's torquing and moving and bumping, it all flexes. Now, this, this is a piece of, I believe that's plexiglass, um, but it's tied on one side. So when this door opening flexes, when the frame flexes, what happens is that this side, the free side, moves up and down. It hinges up and down and up and down, and it rubs. So these two sides, this strip and this strip, rub together up and down and up and down and up and down. Well, that's not a problem, except for the fact that after you've used your shower for a while, if you run your finger down here, you feel you can get some goop and it can get sticky and I can feel that right there. Well, what happens when these are closed and this door needs to move vertical like that and those two pieces are stuck together? Well, the very top of this is held together, is held in by little plastic keepers. There's one at the top, there's one at the bottom, there's one at the bottom over here, and there's one at the top up here. These little plastic keepers are intended to hold this rubber strip in place. You can see I moved that rubber strip, and you can see how um, that keeper keeps it in. Now, eventually, when this gets sticky enough, um, it'll actually get strong enough to push that keeper out. Now, I'm doing this on the top so you can see it, but there's one on the bottom, and that's the one that usually comes out. Now, I've got a picture that I'm going to show you here.
of what this keeper shaped like because I can't zoom in close enough to it. There's a there's a uh, channel, a track, and a keeper. Well, what you need to do, the first thing you need to do is you need to slip your keepers out. You slip the, the, the top keeper out. Then you're going to take some Windex, right? And you're going to clean this strip. Scrub it down until you can't feel anything, until it's really, really smooth. That'll allow the two pieces to rub on one another without sticking like that. The next thing that you're going to do to fix this problem is you're going to take that keeper, that keeper right here, and you're going to put one drop of Gorilla Super Glue on it. Just one drop. You're going to put a drop on, on, the, on the back side of the keeper, the keeper that goes in that the keeper that goes in that slot on the back side. So I'm going to put a little drop on there and then I'm going to slip this keeper down back down in place. And you can see it's it's I'm going to slip that keeper back down in place. You put it in the slot and push it down. Now, don't push it all the way down. This magnet needs to move. Don't glue the magnet in. Glue the keeper in, glue the keeper at the bottom, glue the keeper at the top, and let this move up and down. Do the same thing to this keeper here. Now the bottom keeper on there, it can't go anywhere, so you really don't need to glue it in. So there's three that you need to do. The one on the top on the frame, the one on the top on the door, and the one on the bottom. So clean this, remove the keepers, put goop on them, just one drop, one drop of super glue up there. And that way, when this trailer flexes, the magnets can move against each other because they're not gooped up like that. And uh, the, if the magnets do stick together, um, the magnet has a mo room to move in the slot and won't push that keeper out anymore. I know it's not a big deal, but um, if you're having problems with it, kind of is. <laughs> so um, that's my repair for today. On the shower door, we had this on a month-long trip. We had the bottom keeper come out, so I did a little bit of analysis, and uh, that's what's causing it, and this is how to fix it. So take care, guys. See you later. See you on the road. Drive safe.